So, what good is money, love, and success without health? Having a quality of life starts with good health. I want to stress the importance of physical health towards the attainment of a prosperous life and a good work-life balance. As I said many times before, to truly be prosperous, we must be so in body, mind, and spirit. The state of our physical body directly influences our state of mind and vice versa. So to truly be whole and get the most out of life, we must have healthy bodies to enjoy it. If you're not already doing so, I encourage you to try to incorporate some sort of physical exercise into your daily routine or at least four to five times a week. Not only will you look better and be happier with your body, but additionally, your physical appearance will influence you emotionally for the better, as well as improve your self-confidence and esteem as you interact with the world on a daily basis. Beyond this, your efforts to strengthen your health also help to strengthen your willpower. Most people don't enjoy the act of exercising unless you're one of those crazy people that actually get enjoyment from pain. But in all serious, seriousness, although in the midst of exercise we may struggle, we do typically feel improvements in our vitality, our strength in immune systems. Uh, you may experience it in less frequent colds or sicknesses. And at a minimum, at least a better night's sleep. All this comes with continued effort. More importantly, a strong body will help you to gain greater presence of mind and spirit, which opens you up to the infinite potentiality within you. I personally try to work out each morning, roughly 30 minutes or so. Afterwards, I take a shower, helps to relax my muscles and my mind, open up my pores. From there, I like to transition into some time and meditation. This is my routine for establishing that greater presence in body, mind, and spirit. Now, it does require some discipline. Some days seem to be a little easier and more favorable than others. But what I realize is that the more you commit to a routine, the more effective and natural it will ultimately become for you. Now, what does all this being present do for you? It allows you to think more clearly, to focus on your goals, become more organized, Remain calmer in various situations that may arise throughout your day and ultimately be more efficient in your time management. Another aspect of being present in the body is to establish the necessary discipline to always know what you should be doing at any given moment, time of the day. I encourage people to be very detail oriented when it comes to managing your time. It is your most precious gift, maybe almost to the point of being anal. But seriously, my process is to essentially program every day into my smartphone down to the minute of when I check emails, when I read or write, when I make important phone calls, uh, when I take breaks or lunch, uh, when I run errands and so forth. Obviously, unexpected items often come up or I may stray from the road. But the point is, the more days you're able to adhere to a routine, the more productive you'll be and the more results you'll make towards your goals. Now, of course, no one's ever gonna be 100% on target in their day-to-day -day dealings, but as long as you're close or in the high 80 to 90 percentile, then you're gonna be much further along than if you just continuously wing it every single day. Having a fairly strict routine will help you to keep you more accountable. Now, don't become so rigid to the point that you're stressing out or punishing yourself for goofing off because you got an unexpected visit or phone call from a friend. Remember, a part of prosperity is enjoying life, of course. At the end of your days, when your life flashes in front of you, the sincere moments of laughter and fun you shared with friends and family will definitely stand out and be your most memorable. Be organized and disciplined, but remember to have fun. Be present in the moment to truly, truly enjoy it all. So I'll leave you with this uh, success skill. Do whatever it takes to nurture good health. If you lack the willpower, then try to find a workout buddy to help hold you accountable or a personal trainer if you can afford it. As the years go by, you'll definitely be grateful that you did. As we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence actually liberates others. Marianne Williamson. This is your boy Latif Warnick, the Alpha Miss. 
Peace.